1996, the Pokemon video game was released to Japan on Nintendo's Game Boy. Inspired by creator Satoshi Tahi's childhood bug collection, the game is a mission to collect all of the 151 different Pokemon. This can only be accomplished by hooking up your Game Boy to other players and battling them for Pokemon. When the game was first released, its prospects looked grim due to the dated technology of Game Boy. But a comic book containing some of the first Pokemon trading cards was released to promote it, and the sales of the video game grew steadily. Soon the craze set in, leading to the creation of a TV show, where like the video game, the main character Ash tries to become Pokemon Master of the World by capturing all of the Pokemon. Just as Pokemon was scheduled for American release, a combination of flashing colors and Pikachu's lightning bolt caused 700 children to have seizures while watching the TV show. But no minor setback. In the beginning of 1998, Pokemon was released in America, where it escalated into a whole line of products. A role-playing card game by Wishes of the Coast, trading cards by Topps, toys by Hasbro, a movie by Warner Bros., an act by General Mill, and a kid's meal by Burger King. Okay, I was wondering about this whole Pokemon thing. Uh, do you got a lot of Pokemon stuff here? Um, yeah, we have all of the ball Pokeball things that's set for a Charizard, and you ha in order to get one, you have to order a Valley Meal. Are you aware that the West Olympia branch just ran out of Pokemon an hour ago? Yep. Yeah, we were we were just over there and the, the, but nobody has uh no, none of the kids have like we didn't see any kids like go crazy about it or nothing yet. Should have been here last night. We had our first trading night dinner last night. Oh. There was standing room only in the lobby and the trading was happening. And the kids were just scrambling. Cuz yeah, we heard like some of the cards are worth money and they some of the cards I've heard are worth the very first Pikachu cards and stuff are worth like three thousand dollars. Oh! <laughs> I had a gentleman in the store who claimed he had figured out the, the number system and uh, he already had the so-called toy that was in the bag that was unopened. Unfortunately, the policy indicates you get what you get. And he really was adamant about what was going on and that I didn't know what I was doing and that I didn't understand that program and he just he wasn't gonna let it go and so I said okay you know I've been with Bird King 14 years I can see you know more about the system than I do but you still like it in toy so you get what you get get what you get what you get it's like gambling because when we went to the theaters and saw the movie they did not give us a Pokemon card and my mom went to the uh, mall called the block and they gave us a free they had so many that it gave my mom, they gave my mom a whole lot of cards and I got two of them called Dragonite and me too. Okay, have you guys seen the movie? I have. Oh, he has. What'd you think? It's pretty cool. You did? I saw it. It was all right. Oh, cool. like, <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen it yet, but I'm gonna. You are? Okay. He went with his ex-girlfriend. You did? Does she like it? Yeah. Okay, man. I'm trying also to... yeah. I was up all night long last night trying to figure out Pokemon. <laughs> We're getting to the bottom of Pokemon yeah, today. I'm I mean, not sure it's worth it, but we're trying to get we there. We have got the whole range of Pokemon uh, truly covered. I tried to ask Cody last night because I said, Coach, I know you you know, you know—you were into it big time, and now it's, it's not your thing anymore, but maybe you could explain it to Mom. He says, Mom, you'll never understand it. <laughs> Here it is. That's on the cover of uh, Time magazine. That's how big it is. Hottest drawing movie, over $50 million at the box office this weekend. Here's the official Pokemon handbook. We've got Pokemon Super Cards. We've got um, Game Boy, Nintendo. Right. Trying to figure out Pokemon. Cards. There's a big group of people that um, actually don't even know how to play the card game, yeah. which is kind of what this is about: is teaching people, like all the people who just collect the cards. We're kind of teaching them how to play. Shuffle your deck and draw a starting hand of seven cards. Put the rest of your deck face down in front of you. If you don't have a basic Pokemon card in your hand, it'll say "Basic Pokemon" in the upper left-hand corner. Show your hand to your opponent, shuffle it back in your deck, and draw seven more cards. Your opponent may then draw up to two extra cards. If you still don't have any basic Pokemon in your new hand, you repeat this process, but your opponent gets to draw up to two extra cards each time. 
You and your opponent each choose a basic Pokemon from your from your hands and put them face down. These will be your your starting active Pokemon. Okay. Minor note: you can only hold six Pokemon at once. Um, I'm gonna start over here with a Pokemon. This is Nidoran. Nidoran is a basic Pokemon. You can tell it because it says basic in the upper left corner. Uh, Nidoran has 40 hit points. That's how much damage he can take before he gets knocked out. Nidoran is also a forest Pokemon, which means that things that affect forest Pokemon would affect him. Um, he has one attack, which is Horn Hazard, and it takes one forest energy, which is this. And so if, if he had this attached like this, then you could do Horn Hazard, which you would flip a coin, and if it was heads, it would do 30 damage, and if it was tails, it would do zero. Um, Nidoran has a weakness against Psychic, which means that he takes double damage when a, he's attacked by a Psychic Pokemon. When you evolve him, what you do is you place him right on top, and basically um, the top one becomes the new card. The bottom one has no significance at that point. Um, Nidorino has better hit points, he has better attacks, and he does more damage. Um, and then also Nidorino, uh, Nidorino can evolve into Nido King, um, who once uh, is another another stage higher. Um, he does more, also again more damage, um, better attack, or sorry, more hit points, better attacks, and he also has a really high retreat cost. Damage counters. Damage counters. Yeah. These are like when you take damage from a fight. These are what you put on the guy, and he takes. Uh, when you have more damage counters and you have hit points, you get knocked out. Um, if people start to play Pokemon, and then when they get a little older, it's really easy for them to kind of ease into magic yeah. since. They they already kind of know the basic rules, and it's just kind of a simple step up into the next, the next whole phase. So, yeah, I love friends that play D and D, then they yeah, into magic. Yeah, exactly, because magic is kind of along the same thing as D and D. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, people on the East Coast buy Pokemon cards from people on the West Coast, and they can't get the distributor. So some shops are buying Pokemon cards to sell to the East Coast to make more money, and they'll recruit people that that because they'll be like a a certain amount you're allowed. Allowance, like some stores will give you 10 cards, some stores will give you a, a whole box, you know, whatever you need, but they know that you're going to resell them, and uh, yeah, it's a business. It's all about... It's really difficult to get the cards um, except through Wizards of the Coast, yeah. and so um, we don't really have any stores over on the East Coast right now. We're mostly um, California and a little bit in the Midwest, so there's really no stores over there, which makes it difficult for a lot of the retailers out there to get the cards, and so it makes the commodity a lot harder to find, and so there's a lot more of a, just a craze, just in the sense that there's more demand than there is supply. Uh, there's a, a, a counterfeit set, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, which is apparently, uh, I don't know how much money they're making off that, but it's it's a big thing. Uh, if you hold it up to the light, you can actually see through the card. On the uh, counterfeit cards, it would probably be a little more faded. Yeah. You go up to the fog glass, you go over, you go over, like 10 steps, you go up, and you look into the one, two, something step in. That causes people to have seizures? I guess. That made all the kids have seizures. Have you ever played a Pokemon video game? Yes. Storyline about Pokemon. <laughs> I've never felt sick, but they, they said that uh, it can make some people sick. Buddy. <laughs> How many Pokemon can a trainer carry around at any time? Blah, 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 catch them all. Blah, blah, catch them all. <laughs> Get some of them that went, oh yes, I gotta have Pokemon. I said, well, you know, see what I can do. So yeah. A lot of people want Pokemon, and I'll try. <laughs> Check that out. Catch <laughs> <laughs>